your ball in the trees and then you live out the park. But if you've got a little time, then come and spend it with us. Cause now you're listening to the rough cut. Hello, 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 and welcome down to yet another episode of the As Of Yet award-winning Rough Cut Golf Podcast as we stumble towards our 50th episode. I believe this is number 47, and the British Podcasting Association hasn't kicked us off the airwaves <laughs> just yet. The four of us are together once again. Well, technically the five of us, because I've got Murph with me as well, my little pooch. Yeah. Um, if you are watching on our YouTube channel, um, you will probably see him at some point. If you are listening to us uh, via your favorite podcast provider, thank you very much. But also, go check us out on YouTube and vice versa. We yeah. have Mick, we have Kieran, and we have Jacob, the four of us, back together. It seems to have been quite a while with all our travels. Mm. Yeah. How, how long has it been? Four weeks. Is it really that long? Mm. Wow. Yeah, we've been we've been here, there, and everywhere. Not not only just like everyone's just been doing all sorts of things. So yeah, it's it's nice to see everyone back and in the normal the normal setting, yeah. which is nice in the office. Yeah, yeah. the I mean, normal setting. Yeah, this you know, the, this is our studio, so to speak. I mean, we we turn the desk to the side, but apart from that, you know, what do you mean? This is this setup's always like this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit lazy with it now. Um, <laughs> you just uh, turn. <laughs> change it back. I mean, yeah. we will be redeveloping this space. Hopefully, quite soon. But mm, watch this. Um, here first. There's a few little barriers to get over by that point. I mean, the first barrier, the main barrier, um, is that people will actually start listening and watching. So, if you are a fan, please share this with your family and your friends. And if you don't have any friends, then go down to a bus stop and <laughs> just start annoying random people. It's a terrible idea. That'd be fantastic. If you live in London, why not try the tube? People mm. talk on that all the time. Don't do that. <laughs> do that. As a as the resident Londoner. <laughs> you know, don't do in, that. In fact, if you want to get yourself a Bluetooth speaker, go onto the tube and play this out loud. I'm sure you'll be incredibly popular. Just that bit. Mm. On repeat. <laughs> on repeat, yeah. Or the what the intro song. Oh. <laughs> and people are like, oh my god, what is this banger? Yeah. And where do I hear it more often? I mean, if you've not done this yet, we have like I said forty seven episodes in now. So you could actually have forty seven trips on the tube to get everyone up to date. And yeah, if you get the same tube every day, like people will come to expect the Rough Cut Golf podcast to be Yeah, up. they'll be like, it's like in Manchester, there's a guy that drives around with that speaker on his bike. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you'll be that person except for our voices. Maybe we should get in contact with him as well. <laughs> yeah, that, maybe, maybe that's he, that sounds like a deal to be done there. Maybe the suggestions. We're in town, in Collier in town the other day, and we were at, uh, there's two old pubs near the Arndale Centre. Oyster yes. Bar. Uh, yeah, Oyster Bar, Oyster yeah. Sinclair. That's the one, that's the one yeah. that um, you... Is it either like you can't get in if you're wearing a hat or they won't let they you... They won't let you use your phones. They won't yeah. let you use your phone. And it's like the cheapest place for a pint in Manchester. Yeah, yeah. In, they're, inside they're not, old school, it's cool. They're, yeah. not, they're not pints, so they're like two thirds. Oh, okay. They're not pints, yeah. so no, you no, think no, you're ev- getting a good deal. Everyone else not. gets pints here and that's, yeah. that's it just looks more in your hand that's, it that's comes in you. pints <laughs> I'm getting one <laughs> you sir you've got a whole half already having a pint <laughs> it comes oh, in pints it comes in pints um, I'm getting one of course I know Frodo <laughs> there he is Frodo Baggins um, and yeah I, there was a guy who pulled up out there playing tunes anyway that's a yeah. segue into we should contact people who play annoying music out loud um, so we're back. Um, we've had <laughs> quite a few videos kind of going out recently on the main YouTube channel. If you haven't checked them out yet, uh, we've had the Grant Horvat match uh, where we played, um, well, he played some absolutely incredible golf. I played all right. Uh, actually, no, I'll take that back. I actually played pretty well. Yeah, I thought I was going to say, I thought you played quite well. In the bright light of his magnificence, I paled into a ghastly shadow. So hmm. it was good to watch Yeah, you, two you, days of that golf. You've just run into like a steam train at the moment for him. Like he was just, what's he at the moment? I saw a post that he did. He was like, his last, his last eight rounds, he's 30 under par. Yeah. So it's like his mental. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty you, cool. You're going to struggle to beat that to yeah. be fair. But you know, you, you drove the ball great. I thought you drove it really well. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Thanks. That's kind of as far as my praise will go. Yeah. But it's just a pat on the head. So yo, you took part. And yeah. you were there. Yeah. You know what? You, you did really well. Yeah. What was it like to watch in person? Not him. <laughs> I mean, um, Grant Horvat. Um, I mean, his sw- his swing's awesome anyway. Yeah. Like, his move is so good. Um, so to see that and hear the sound of the strike as well, because I think that's a big difference as well, because we film with a lot of pros, and then, you know, they all strike it great, but there's some guys that you've, you watch or you've, you've filmed with, and they just make a different sound. I think I've mentioned Rasmus was one of them when we filmed with him many years ago. First name basis. Mm. Rasmus Hoygaard. Yeah. I mean, fan of the channel, you know, got me. 
okay, you know. Right. Just don't do it, Kieran. <laughs> it's just, it, he's, he's just straight. He's just but straight. He just, he, yeah, Grant, right. he doesn't miss many fairways and he doesn't miss many greens. And I think normally he's been known to have a lot of lip outs and be kind of a bit streaky with the putter. But then if he does get it going with that long game that he has all the time, then he can. that's when he goes low. And that's what we mm. ran into with, yeah. <laughs> with, uh, with Pete playing against him. Like, apparently he never really shoots... He'll, he'll never really shoot more than like five, six over par, but he'll very rarely shoot mm. more than two or yeah, three. So, under. His, so he's, his like window of yeah. scoring is very narrow. Yeah. Yeah. Apart, yeah. From, apart from when we apart played, from when, we played <laughs> yeah. um, when we turned up. He yeah. saved, it, saved it all up for you. When his uh, streaky putting became a hot streak mm. rather than a, yeah, uh, a mean streak. I rewatched bits of it this morning, um, which is when I realized how good of a job Jacob did the edit on it. Um, a good a jo- of a job you did on the on the music on it, which I really like. Something that we've Kieran actually suggested, and we've started doing in the last few months, is kind of trying to include a bit more of kind of sound design and stuff like that. So that was very cool. And when watching it, you're like, he's not going to hold that one, mm. and then it drops, and you're like, yeah, but yeah, but this one's even longer. He's not going to. Oh, and mm. that one drops. Yeah. You, you see, Taylor May did a uh, compilation. Yes, of- yes, of uh, from his best round video yeah. with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So a compilation of all his putts. It's and just it- it's just him holding putts and me in the background, <laughs> <laughs> just stood there. looking <laughs> thoroughly annoyed, <laughs> holding the pin, just waiting to put it in and then go. Oh god. Oh, another hole lost. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, it was a battering, but you know what? It was a very pleasant one. Uh, yeah. If you're not checked out the video, make sure. And we were warm do. whatever, whilst doing it, which was lovely compared yeah. to right now, which actually we found a well, a pocket of no rain, but. Yeah. I mean, we're back in the UK now, and I think we're going what to be we back expect? here until the new year now. I think we might be going away early next year, but I'm away on a holiday in a few weeks. Yeah, um, oh, another one. Yeah, a holiday, which I'm fantastically not looking forward to. But apart from that, we've got, um, yeah, we've got no other trips now. So I it's know. just going to be going into next year. So we'll have some it's time crazy, home, isn't it? which is nice. But what, one of the good things is us going away is we managed to bank so much content, and we have more American stuff coming out. We have yeah. a video coming out in a couple of days on Thursday, which I think I'm right in saying, Kieran, maybe make it into your top three favorite courses we've been to. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Just, I mean, the course is great, but just like the whole vibe of mm. the of, of the area and the um, sort of the ethos around the place of like, you know, you can turn up in anything, you can be anyone, and you can just play golf. Yeah, like, yeah. Of course, is I, abso- this, is, I absolutely love that. Is this the park? Yeah, the so park, yeah, yeah, referencing here the yeah. park. So yeah. it's um, golf course out in West Palm. And we played it, was it six, seven months after opening? Wasn't wasn't super long. And it's a Gilhance design course. You'll see it all on in a couple of days and experience it. It's, yeah, setup's mm. awesome. So, so good. And as you say, public golf course. So you can mm. turn up and play it as we kind of developed a better understanding of what private golf courses are like in the US compared to here, where when they say private, like it really is mm-hmm. pretty private. So yeah. for a public golf course to be that good and... Was it $70, something like that, $80 to play, I think? Uh, it very much depended on, yeah. first of all, if you were a resident. Right. Um, so if you were kind of West Palm right, Beach. Okay. Some T's and C's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So West, you had to be like, if, if you were local, um, you got a discount, time of day mattered, um, and there's there's a few other things. I, mm-hmm. think, I think I ended up paying, I think it was 120 oh, okay. I want to say. And then plus uh, caddy as well. And if, if you, oh yeah, <laughs> you need to check out the video just for trout. Just for trout. Like our our caddy was was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that's going to be Thursday. I think that's probably, I think it's probably the best public course that, that I think I've, so. I've played. So yeah. in the US, it's just yeah. Like I said, the the whole vibe of the place in was terms of incredible. access as well. Like we 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 spoke about it, and obviously you've got places like Bethpage, which is public. But if you want to go play it, you have to go and you know be there at two a.m. and yeah, camp out and wait and. You know, prices you're going to be paying anyway is extortionate. So in terms of like an actual public golf course experience where you can still rock up at a time you want and go and play it, mm. then yeah, I and would say so for sure. shank your t-shirt off the first, oh, like yeah. having slept but, you know, on a bench in, from, from 2 a.m. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> but you, around the park, if you do shank it off the first, it's probably the best place to do it than ever because there's no water. Like it's, it's wasteland, but all the fairways basically just mm. run into each other. So you, you'd have yeah. a lot of fun around there. Yeah. And, so, and so, how did you play? Um, played all right. Yeah, I actually played pretty I mean, over in Florida, I was striking the ball really well. Mm-hmm. The problem was I didn't have <laughs> 100% an idea of where it was going to go. Yeah. So Not great. Like, it was coming off the cool face really fast, but every now and again, it was coming off in a direction <laughs> I that I wasn't quite familiar with. There's a bit in the Grant Horvat video where he goes, 
that strike was pure and, and you're like, yeah, I struck that really well. And he goes, so the problem's just face or path. <laughs> yeah, it's one or the other, yeah, literally. <laughs> so it, it, well, it was a little bit of a continuation of that, but there's some very good golf, some very dodgy golf, some fantastic weather, some awful weather. It's got literally absolutely um, everything. But yeah, like the course, fantastic. Like you said, the depending on where you go, the price, every, everything about it was just good. Do you see that tweet, by the way, about um, Sawgrass? No. Yeah, yeah, about the um, how they put their price up. Well, uh, it was no, in, I didn't see this. So it was November. I think it was like maybe a week ago, and I think yeah. the tea time was two weeks in advance, so probably like first week in November. Uh-huh. Yeah. Single player. Guess how much? Sawgrass. Ooh. No boogie. $360. Yeah, yeah I was going to say 350 400 <laughs> It's like $910. Yeah. Oh, nine, what? 910 It's a membership nine, here. $910 for a round of golf. And that's a good membership here. You'd be, you can give some decent golf courses for that. That's bloody dids, mate. <laughs> no, that's double dids. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> double dids. That's, that's didsbury Witherton and Northern. Dunn, I think. For me, that's dids for three years. There so. you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that is just absolutely 900. insane. 900? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 900. There's just 910. There's no golf course worth. But then plus, then then you have to pay for a caddy and then any merch. Any, what else you do as well, yeah. Any, you, ha- you have to pay any for merch. a caddy. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know. You I, have to pay I, for a caddy. I, I, don't think you need, I don't think you need a caddy. You can get just, but you're going to have to get a buggy because I don't think you're able to walk it yeah, uh, no, if you, everyone else is in a buggy. So, right, right. or a cart yeah I think, um, yeah. I think they have certain times of the day that you can walk, can walk it's it a walk with a job yeah yeah um, speaking wow. of speaking, of, it. speaking yeah. of the cart this was the introduction this trip of something that Kieran has been wanting to do for months and months and months which is cart cam cart cam oh yeah that was great <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I mean obviously like you see it on you see it on all the um, uh, like all the American stuff and it's, it's great but um, obviously we walk everywhere pretty yeah. much, don't we? So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, we don't really get to, which I which I really enjoyed, by the way. Like I, I do enjoy that side of it. But um, yeah, getting that sort of different angle of like, you know, of the cart cameras. That's great. the thing though, Just even like, when we're here, we're going to have to start, <coughs> probably start requesting for yeah for buggies. For, if you're playing against someone, it's yeah, not, I do maybe. like it. I'm coming around to it. I yeah. mean, I, I don't mind. I think there's, I think we need to, Obviously, get our sticky things right, and we need to probably oh, get. Oh, we got a, it. We found our proper uh, one now. A muffler for the for the mic, so the wind don't get in. But yeah. I, I like the I like the angle of it. It was a good start. I, I thought it was fine. I thought it was perfectly acceptable. I thought it was a nice addition. Yeah, I agree. I, it, it, it grew I, on you, didn't it? Yeah, like, I, d- I just don't want to be in a buggy all the time. No, I know. No, no, I, no, that, no, yeah, no, that yeah, is yeah, the I thing. That, yeah, yeah. I d- yeah, I, I mean, agree. In Florida, I did. Yeah, because we were sweating like baking pigs. But it was when it's hot. Then when yes. it's hot, but it's yeah a bit necessary. And it's, it's just like the type of course as well. Like over here, having a buggy around Didsby, for example. Yeah, shout out is pointless. I tell you what, because you want to be give you 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 want so much yeah. advertisement. Yeah. We should all be yeah. knocking around there for free. That's yeah, an yeah. absolute yeah. travesty. Some, they rang me up for my membership the other day. I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> come, I'll come back to me. Yeah. Back to me. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do she, it. We'll just Charles mention me, you a couple more yeah. times on the pod. Charles yeah. me there then, and I didn't have. I don't have the money for it, so I need to. <laughs> I need to build it up. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, that's why he chucked it in today. He's like, oh, I'll mention you a couple of times yeah, on the pod. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send this to uh, Karen. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we'd all like to play at Didsbury, actually. We'll clip it. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there, there we go. That's gone. Uh, <laughs> Nick so, Fowdo, so. Didsbury. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and <laughs> yeah, maybe I've not, to be honest, I've not played this been so long, but it's not that bad. It's I mean, good. it goes to that time of the year now where kind of people are going to be starting to look at their memberships. It's interesting. I don't actually know, <laughs> just on a kind of like an off, an offshoot here. I, don't, I wonder how club memberships are actually going on now. Like from their high, like a couple of years ago, like yeah. post pandemic. Might have to get some data from it. England Golf, if you're listening, I know you are. Oh, there's a lot of send uh, us some info. There's a lot of deals going around and like yeah. you know, all of the especially the Manchester courses where it's so saturated. Like the reason why I picked Disney is because it's the cheapest, really. Like Mm. But it's actually the best. Yeah, so, well, so so in some anecdote an- <laughs> some anecdotal research. Well, no, yeah. Can. Unbelievable. If you're paying your fees this year, you're a joker. Can come back to me, thank you. Um, thank you. It's with some anecdotal research I have been looking at a golf membership for next year. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we, we, Didsbury, we, we run about this. Didsbury we? are one of the clubs in the area who do the like um, discount. First of all, if you're joining for a first, if you're, it's your first golf membership ever, and then you get it discounted because they just want to like, they want to get you. Mm. And then up to 35, you get a discount as well. Mm. So yeah. you like different yeah. based on how old you are, which is probably why yours is so cheap because you're so young. Yeah, so yes, yeah, it's, it's free, free 50. But that's, that's, I would say that's very standard for my age. 
So I'd, I'd say no, that... It's, no, so based on the other research that I've done, mm. that is very, very cheap. Is it? Very cheap. Uh, uh, well, one good thing about Manchester, because there's so many... Um, again, talk about prices. Like, There's so many courses around here. Mm. The, as soon as it comes to this time of year, you have kind of... Around the M60, around Manchester, you've got, well, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 courses. And if a course has a bad year condition-wise, there's so many people who go, right, well, we're going to try yep. Withington this year. Mm-hmm. Yep. Or we're going to do this this year. So they have to stay competitive. Like, like, that, like I said, that price is of Sawgrass, 910 quid. You can literally get two years membership probably at a course around here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, That's crazy, man. You know, it just, it just goes into kind of show that actually UK for golf is pretty lucky. Because we, we, while well, we've got the... Uh, restarting the golf career video coming up. Mm. So trying to, uh, we, <laughs> we basically released a video a few weeks ago and it's whatever money that we made from that video, that's what we had to reinvest in restarting golf from getting new clubs and to playing golf, everything. With the dynamic thumbnail. Yes. Yeah, that keeps, oh. yeah. That keeps updating. Um, yeah, it's amazing how they do that automatically now. Bloody amazing. It? It's incredible. I mean, it's AI in it. I'm... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say we got quite as much as I wanted. Um, I think it makes it even better. The video be is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to get a little bit creative. Yeah, um, And then that's going to be released, yeah, probably around Christmas time. It's going to take a bit of time to film that. On the so. flip side of that, people are probably looking at that and going, they made $900 off that, and that's yeah. rubbish. <laughs> but that's how we make money. Yeah. Right, listen. Well, it might actually be very good as well, because, like, you know, in this day and age, obviously, we're, you know, financially... It is a bit of an issue at the moment with how everyone's going. I'm going all political. Yeah, I'm like, going. Uh, like, uh, Kieran um, the Red. You know, yeah. Yeah, Come no, on, comrade. Sort of, yeah. Tell us about it. <laughs> 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 it's sort of, like the, the, sort of like the disposable income of people. Like yeah. Yeah. 900 quid is probably the average household sort of disposable income. So it'd be good to like see what you can actually get for 900 pounds in terms of if, yeah. you, if, you, if you're going to start a golf career up. Mm. I agree. I quite, I, I really like that. Because if it was like two grand, like mm. there's, there's an appeal to everyone. How, how, far, I mean? how far into your golf career do you reckon you'd spent 900 pounds? Because I don't think I've been playing for just over a year. Mm. I don't think I've spent 900 pounds on golf yet. Hmm, interesting. Mm. Yeah, but I, I, oh, no, I, I don't think I have either. I but then also have. I've been... I'm in a very fortunate position that I've had hand-me-down clubs and also yeah. clubs from the office. And yeah, what you know. about rounds of golf? Yeah, well, I've, I've again when I first 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 started playing golf, like my parents bought my membership, but then the last few I've had, I've paid for. But again, they were at my old club in well, Burke Hill. Yeah, and it was whilst I was at uni. Well, even though it wasn't even whilst I was at uni, it was whilst I first moved up here, and I was only doing it as like a six month in case I went back and all that kind of thing. So. Mm, maybe four, five hundred, maybe. Yeah, because but. because you, Pete having so little and having gone from, you know, literally being able to pick whichever club you want, mm. it's going to be very interesting <laughs> to see mm, yeah, how yeah, far yeah. you get until you realise that you, you're going to have to make some mm. some adjustments. No, it's cool. It's, it, I, I wasn't too keen on the video, but like now we now we know sort of that size of it. Like I, yeah. I, I really like the idea. The of second it. one's going to be... Yeah, second one good. Second one's going to be one the good. one. Yeah, I like, I like that. Very good. Um, what else is... In the in the works for the next few months, and then going into next year, what's what's happening, Pete? Um, well, we got this like backlog of videos that we've got from the US, so we need to get through those, get those edited. I think we've got maybe four or five videos to film, and that takes us up to Christmas, and then it's into the new year, and that's going to be just club season. Yes. Like it, it, as soon as it gets into January, tech time again, isn't it? Tech yeah. month on its way. Yeah, everyone's releasing everything, so I think all the you're going to be looking at all the big boys again. So you Taylor made your Callaway, Mizuno, pretty sure Cobra, pretty sure they're all going to be releasing drivers, metal woods. Um, I think Tyler's who just obviously released their irons. I think their driver release isn't going to be until later in the year, but listen, it's just January. People go mental. Mm. So yeah, yeah. we're yeah. going to be, we're going to be doing all those reviews, seeing what, seeing what's hot, seeing what's not. <laughs> yeah. I, I remember last year's, I, I'm, I mean, guess, guess we don't have any, knowledge of embargoes or anything like that or do we do we have any ideas of stuff or got a few again it's just in january because i just remember last year like we were editing driver videos like we i think it was like five we did in the week in one week something stupid like that to get them out for january when they came out on the embargo and then it was like the tailor made and the ping or something came out on the same day yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. i mean embargoes never 
em- embargoes never used to matter that much because it was an embargo. And if we we're going to do a video on it, it was like, this was like three, four years ago. It was like, okay, cool. Um, what time is it? All right, fine. And then we used to release a video and it was very much just tailor-made yeah. sim review. Yeah. And it was yeah. fine. And we knew what we were doing. Yeah. But now, because everybody, there's like about 42,000 more golf channels. Now. <laughs> like Specific the, numbers. Yeah, of it. Yeah. Just like re- releasing a review doesn't seem yeah. quite as much now. So we need to come up with new ideas and new formats to actually show what these clubs are all about. So, yeah, it just takes a little bit more, a little bit more planning and a little bit more uh, kind of imagination to actually kind of show show what we want. Because like just doing a normal review now, unless it's like an absolute massive release like when the sim came out mm. uh, sim sorry when the stealth the came stealth, out yeah. that was obviously so different that that review was kind of worth it in its own uh, paradigm a little bit last year as well so i mean the, the releases so far that we've got wind of i don't know i think there's going to be quite a lot of I, comparisons going on. i just thought we could we should do you're saying about forty two thousand other channels we should do our own rough cut review of the drivers and then we've got like different handicap slots here haven't we so we could hit them and then give people opinions on wow that's interesting i think that's a good idea and then the ultra forgiving one would, would just win all of them yeah mm. just let them know yeah the max yeah that's the one you yeah, want i yeah. tell you what i tell you what you need more forgiveness is yeah. that the biggest head yeah, yeah that one yeah that one yeah, this illegal 750 cc drivers <laughs> <laughs> banging. Yeah. Yeah. absolutely the one for you um so yeah it's just going to be doing that and planning that and then i think next year january just getting away somewhere um thinking probably the states again but Oh, it's just you're going to go to a different area. You're going to go Florida again. Uh, probably, <laughs> uh, probably over the west coast. I'd say the west coast. To mm-hmm. Arizona or but a Califana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, or over that. Go side. on, do one. <laughs> Hawaii. <I know. laughs> Didn't we get an offer to go to the Bahamas this year? Didn't someone, um, didn't someone send us an email and say, would you like to go to the Bahamas to film? Bahamas. Um, Bahamas. 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 I think we had Bahamas and I think most recent one was Mauritius. Yes, we did get Mauritius yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, that was for that Legends tour thing, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the uh, timing... Dates didn't line up. Yeah, uh, dates didn't line up. You know, mm. Diary's yes. busy and all the rest of it. Sorry, we're, we're in rainy Manchester. <laughs> busy. Yeah, we've got to get, got got get out and to do. shoot some winter content. I've got a whole host of woolly hats that I'm not worn in a while. I need to get them out. I was going to say, the other thing that's going to happen is that, you know, people are going to be spending a lot more time at the range. People are going to be, you know, going out in their wet weather golf shoes. My dad is included in this. He's like, well, I've got to to dust off the leathers. Get out in the old leather, you know, golf boots or whatever. Um, Now that is it now grind season? Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean that people who are struggling with their swings can begin to practice a little more and therefore check out the Swing Quest channel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Well, that's just seamless. Yeah. yeah. That, that was beautiful. That was a slippery segue, that. Yeah, that was, we that we was got well there eventually. Greased. Um Yeah. It's weird, really, because like, the actual weather that we have, obviously, it's, it's not universal. Like, let's say Arizona. It's kind of like getting into the point where they're probably going to be playing most of their golf. I think they've got 10 days of rain as well. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, like throughout the entire year. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. From January through to December, they've got 10 yeah. days of rain. Um, so for us, it's definitely going to be, a, well, for me, it's definitely going to be a point of now trying to figure out my swing, work on everything for next year. Yeah. Because as soon as next year comes around, just not going to have time. It's it, going to be too late by then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you've got to like put the the work in and the grind in now to see those benefits, um, which I'm kind of looking forward to. But at the same time, I'm not actually done any proper practice for like a full year. Yeah. So you're looking forward to getting into the into the nitty gritty of your swing again. So so. Yeah. So so. I, I, I must admit, like playing recently and playing a bit more consistently. It doesn't make a difference. It just makes you enjoy it again a little bit more because nobody enjoys like going out and playing crap. Like it's, it, it, you should, you, you kind of tell yourself through gritted teeth. You're like, this is golf. This is fun. Yeah. You should be enjoying yourself. Enjoy it. But yeah, exactly. At the same time, there is a devil on your shoulder, like just hammering you in the temple with a one eye and saying, you're crap, you're crap. Why are you playing golf? And also like you could have practiced. Mm, yeah, I've not been doing that. So... Yeah. It's time to practice and then get ready. Do you know that was my one biggest takeaway from America was, was that 
um, every time we went to go film a video, the American content creators would actually go to the range and hit yeah, some balls before. They would, yeah, it's yeah. disgusting. Yeah. Whereas we don't do that. I say we, Pete, doesn't do that. No. Do they not know the rules? No, they they're, don't. They've got an entire... It's almost like they want to play good golf on their channels. <laughs> they've which. got an entirely different belief set. And do you know what? I'm, 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 I was thinking about getting on board with it, and then I realised, I'm going to be completely honest with you. If I was playing and filming week in and week out at a golf course, which had a fully grass range in the sunshine, I might warm up as well. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what right. you're thinking. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm you know, getting down to Didsbury, taking my shag bag down the range and digging yeah. up about no, four tonne of mud. You don't yeah. want, you know, I'm, I'm fairly sure in this country it's more you don't want to hit some balls into a net to warm up. That's yeah. pretty much yeah. off like a rock hard mat. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, yeah. a, like a proper mat oh. on concrete. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Let's, let's have a think actually then because I think the last time I saw you hit warm up balls before a round was probably record breakers at Birkdale. Oh uh, yeah, mm. they were, yeah, 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 and they. That was you and you probably hit about six. That's yeah, you went there long. Yeah. 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 It, it, it don't take long. To, <laughs> it doesn't take long to tune up an, that an engine. Count, like, <laughs> you know, once you get that Rolls Royce ticking over, it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, once you turn it on. Yeah. So well, you, you say about n like preparing for next year and stuff, but we've probably got a couple of matches potentially lined up at the back end of this year. Yeah. Mm. Um, just trying to just trying to fix stuff up is. I, you know what? This week's just been hell. Last week's been hell. Getting everything filmed, but just then sitting down and trying to organise everything. Yeah. It's not my cup of tea. The, this is the most organised I have ever seen. Not only, not just you, but just like as a as a company for us deciding what we're going to do. We are, yeah, we're on the ball at the minute. Yeah, I mean, it's, good. It's, it's, it's having that little bit of leeway with all the content that's in the bag, though. So you can actually plan and you can yeah. kind of think forward like, a little bit. To, to say that people won't believe it, say that, like, we have got planned every video for next year. Pretty David much. David has. Well, yeah, I know. It's a royal we. Yeah. We all we all work under the same, yeah. one, except when it's my work and it's the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, David, <laughs> David talked me through it a couple of couple of weeks ago, and he was like, "Right, we've got seventy one videos to make." Mm -hmm. On the I, main, mean, I think it's eighty something on the main. Oh yeah, maybe 80, 80, something. 80 something on the main channel. We've got this many swing quest. We've got these series which we're starting or restarting. We've got these. We're gonna get a little bit of input into mm -hmm. videos that Pete makes. Yeah. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a fun year. There's gonna be some. I surprise my editors with a <laughs> sightless fitting <laughs> videos yeah. coming out. Yeah. Like I take my team to play the old course. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll be coming out. <laughs> no surprise, my no, team will be week in it. St Andrews. Yeah, yeah. yeah. again. Yeah, we'll yeah. get it in part yeah. two. Yeah, a that member of my fun. team wins a membership at Augusta. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good, wouldn't it? David. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's uh, it's uh, it's cool to be like actually on the ball, <laughs> which is nice. Yeah. yeah so right. in the in the process of researching what needed to happen last year, uh, needed to happen next year, mm. we, I went through Google and I searched, you know, what things people had been searching for for Pete to try and get an understanding of what people actually wanted to see and what people wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. And it got me into this kind of weird black hole of you know those um, you know those Google question and answer things that. You know, big big yeah, celebs yeah, do like, um, I, like Vogue does them and correct. stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So G I, and, yeah. I found some Peter Finch related questions. <laughs> okay, and, and what I want to do is just quickly rip through them so that Pete can answer them. Go through them. I'm not. So I'm not actually. You've not seen. I'm these. not seeing these yet. Okay. Um, I reckon I could. I reckon I can figure out guess a kind of what they're going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it depends. Did you put in? Did you put in Peter Finch or Peter Finch Golf? So for some of them, I put Peter Finch, and then <laughs> for some of them, I put Peter Finch Golf, and for some of them. I just put golf. Oh. <laughs> just popped up. Because there's uh, like famous actors yeah, in there. I was going to yeah. say, for anyone who's not aware, just put in Peter Finch actor and just see who that is mm. as yeah, well. He's like an Australian actor, yeah, I, I think. There is an actor called Peter Finch, but this is this is for, oh, I guess you're also on the screen. Are you an actor? Yeah. Um, I mean, it depends, really, on the video. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's a great actor? David, actually. Yeah, yeah David's oh, yeah, good. Yeah. He was bloody good. You know what? You know what I loved was the, David's a drama kid. He is. Yeah, the PXG the, press conference. The press conference that was great. That exceptional. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's he so loves dry. It. He loves it. He, he tries to pretend that he doesn't want to do I it. Know, but yeah. He's waiting. He's like, oh, oh, okay. God, I can't yeah. wait. And then he gets out a script. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Starts with his levels. Yeah. 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 Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay. So Google number one, I'll put the words Peter Finch and the word who. Who is Peter Finch Golf? Who are you? Oh, sorry, I'm going to do what? Okay. <laughs> can I do, okay. Uh, so. <laughs> you can take this as deep as you want. Right. Yeah. So I'm. Hey, everybody. I'm Pete. Um, and hi, I, Pete. Hi, 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 Pete. Hi, hi, hi. And I, uh, I make golf YouTube videos um, on the side. I enjoy going to the pub and eating food. There you go. You've, you've not gone into any of the things that make you special. <laughs> I can't, you're, an, you're, an I, av, you're an avid reader. I can't really think of them off the top of my head, to be honest with you. This is like, this is, this is I won't say exactly much my worst nightmare. Yeah, it is. Referring to myself, in the th people who refer to themselves in the third person, like really worry me. That's not yeah. what Mick thinks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's really concerning. Jacob that. agrees. It's, it's always, I, I went to college with a guy who had his own name tattooed on his chest. <laughs> and like ever since that point, I've always thought somebody who, and this guy was a bit of a douche as well. So anybody, as you probably guess, anybody who like talks to them about themselves in the third person, it's just really weird. Do you not think? Nothing is strange. I'm still baffled by the own name on the chest. Oh yeah, honestly, it, it was like a name tag. It was like... <laughs> Did he? My name is L. Did it look right when you looked at him, or was it? Was it up? So it was the right way up. So yeah. he could just no. remind himself what his name <laughs> yeah. is. It wasn't to be read in the mirror. Right. No. Okay. It, it was just. It was just his name. Okay. Like, ever since that point, I've been like, what was his so name? Weird. Um, just in case he's listening. <laughs> yeah, because it was a bit scary. Oh, um, oh no! Don't say his let's name. Let's call him Nigel. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Number two. That's a bit scary. <laughs> How tall is Peter Finch Golf? That, um, that one actually came up. I am five five twelve gets to six foot. Yeah, it? So I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm basically five eleven because I'm like the the most you can be without being six foot, and it's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just lo lots of heavy shoes. Yeah, yeah. so five eleven, almost six foot, but I just didn't eat enough vegetables when I was a kid. Yeah, and your parents aren't lying when they say those things make you grow. You mm. just didn't eat enough. Yeah, they do. Well, it, it didn't work for me. <laughs> you, all you, you eat is vegetables. Yeah, you you didn't eat any vegetables. I from my know, understanding, from my understanding, what you had for dinner was pasta, beans, and cheese every night. Oh, so. yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah, 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 that's There's not true. many vegetables yeah, in that. Chips yeah, yeah. don't count. Your your entire <laughs> diet was beige. Yeah. <laughs> so kids, don't eat beige. Don't eat something beige. green every once in a yeah, while. Broccoli. How old is Peter Finch Golf? Oh, I know this one. Oh, good. I do you know how I know this one? Your yourself? Is your, no, is your birthday soon? I've, I've, I've told you. you told, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it wasn't last year; it was year oh before. God, sorry. <laughs> so I was. <laughs> I think he's told this story so on the podcast. Right, I'll, I will. I will speak <laughs> through it. I was in a pub with my family a few years ago. But two years ago, year ago, whatever. Well, I think it was. it was two years. Two ago. years ago, and we were all having a conversation about how old we were and all the rest of it and what we're going to do with our lives. Mm. And I was convinced that I was a year older than I was. And I was convinced like, about this for pretty much the full year. This was like just before my birthday. And then when it came around like that afternoon when I was still with my family, I thought, is that right? So I checked and I was a year younger than I thought. And last night, you just, did it again. just before I went to bed, <laughs> I had a dream and I was like, I was like ticking off a list of things Wait, that like, I thought I'd be able to I, th I thought I'd, I thought I would do before I was 40. And I was like, you know what? How am I actually progressing? You know, in the great context of life, uh -huh. am I a bit of a loser? So I thought, <laughs> what, what do I want to do before I'm 40? And I was like, how many years have I got till I'm 40? <laughs> and I thought I was 38. Okay. So you've got another year back. So I've got another year oh, back. Oh, nice. But I was, I was a bit on the fence. So yeah, I, 37. I, one thing I want to know is how you had a dream before you went to bed. That was, that was my... <laughs> that was, we, 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 <laughs> is that what you said? said? Is that what you said? You said yeah. before I went to bed, I had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we both looked at each other like, no, don't say I'm anything. Sorry. <laughs> Let him finish. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't right. That's my age. Show. I mean, it's literally daydreaming to be fair. So. Yeah. Is Peter Finch married? Uh, no, I am not married. I, I am ladies. I am. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah. So does I, that mean that you are then available? Uh, it does not mean I'm available now. Okay, so you're, have, you're between those two barriers. I, I've been with Carly for 
nigh on 16 years now. Good so Lord. It's been, been a while. Yeah. Um, You're basically married. And, and it's not Carly Booth, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Carly so Rae Jepsen. That the, comes up quite a lot, doesn't it? So uh, a few... When, when was this? The, the, this came up a while ago um, when it was like Peter Finch's wife. <coughs> and just any female who are filmed with, yeah. their pictures come up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I am married to about 16 different yeah. golf influencers. <laughs> and, sure, the, and there's the clip. And, yeah. and, <laughs> I'm sure, uh, all of them know. I'm sure, I'm sure there was like seven or eight comments of that you were the reason that Mia and her boyfriend had broken up and you got together with her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been married to Jazzy Golfer for a few years yeah. as well, apparently. Oh yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've had a lot, you've done well. You, you know what? Gets around, doesn't he? Yeah. I, I didn't realize what a Lothario <laughs> was. <laughs> it's, it's quite Quite incredible. Uh, if, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should we go to the next yeah, one? Yeah, let's go to the next, yeah. This one came up. Who is Peter Finch Golf's best friend? Oh, oh that's nice. Does I think they know? want you to talk about, you know, Rickles and... <laughs> who, <laughs> who is my best friend? I mean, my, my best friend is, uh, like all Nick, who has been my best friend since high school, so... no. Oh. That's nice. Fine. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Known Nick, for a year. I know you're not listening because you're a <laughs> but <laughs> it's that kind of friendship. Right, okay, great. Yeah, yeah. So is he listening? Uh, no, of course oh, okay. not. No, <laughs> no. He's a real friend. <laughs> he actually uh, doesn't care. Peter, this one, I just put Peter Finch and this one came up. Peter Finch, PGA rankings. Oh, well, we've done this before. Oh, God, what was it? We, we, one, we had a look Reese, yeah, when we were like, in Spain. Yeah. I know, and I know what month and what year it was. Uh, well, uh, you know the ranking. What okay. was it? One eight seven seven. One eight seven seven. And <laughs> I was, I think, I think I got within about two hundred of Tiger. So I played in some events. This is twenty sixteen. It was twenty sixteen. Yeah. I, I basically played in some events that got me world ranking points just at the tail end of when Tiger had been out for like six years, mm. whatever it was, with all his injuries, and we were getting close. <laughs> we were getting close. And it, it was literally, we were in about 200 of each other and he played in one event, missed and the court and jumped up about, like three, <laughs> about 400 spots. And I was like, oh, that is absolutely devastating. Um, if you had been higher than Tiger in the... the now, the hold on, but that means there are loads of people who can just oh, say, yeah. oh, like, oh, I, was I was better, better than Tiger yeah, at yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But not all of them are as sad as me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 They went all waiting they to screenshot it when yeah. it came up. Yeah. Li literally, that's what I would have done. Screenshotted it, framed it. <laughs> Put it on the, in the wall yeah. of the house. Yeah, uh, Remove the pictures of Carly and Nick. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, yeah. so when, like, when, pe when people ask you, oh, well, you're actually a good golfer. I said, well, for a short time, I was actually I was better, better than Tiger. I don't want to brag. I mean, 200, within 200 is pretty good. I I, it was something like that. It was like two, three hundred. It was it was close enough. That fish is getting bigger. That, <laughs> then you could see it. Yeah, it, it was close enough that he, if he had stopped playing for longer, and I'd have played in like another Euro Pro event or two, I could have gone. You, it. I could have. You, you were a tournament win away. Uh, yeah, I mean, how many scrolls were you on the list? That's all people care about. I, I think I was like uh, show page, uh, show hundred results <laughs> yeah. page. <laughs> I, think, I think I was maybe four, four drops down. I think. How much is a lesson with Peter Finch Golf? At the moment, it's free. Head over to SwingQuest <laughs> on oh, YouTube <laughs> and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's there good. I bestow all my wisdom that I've accumulated throughout the years to help guide you on a path to better performance in golf. Thank you very much. Um, how, much were you, how much were you charging when you did your last group of lessons? And mm. as, a, as an additional, if you were to charge for lessons now... Whilst also doing this, you're not quitting this. Like you have to try and fit it in. No, please don't. We need a job. <laughs> How much would someone have to pay to get a 45 minute lesson from you now? To be honest, if I was to go back coaching now anyway, I, I'd offer it. It would have to be a minimum, like a minimum of a two or a three hour lesson. Yeah. I wouldn't do like a half an hour or an hour. There's no point. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah you're going to learn a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, and one of the best things about when I was giving lessons and doing this was when people came for lessons, they were coming from watching the videos. Mm -hmm. So the first half an hour of any lesson was chat. We were just chatting. <laughs> we were just literally just talking. Yeah. Mm. And like people were coming over from, God, they were coming over from everywhere for lessons, like flying in. So it was like, well, there's no point in doing anything but like a full day with them. So it's, it's I don't know, it's tricky. I think it was, I think I was about 80 or 90 quid an hour, I think. 
Okay. But now, to make it worthwhile, I'd have to be over 100. Mm. Oh, put a number on it. A big number. Top 50 coach in the world. You know, you've got a little stamp on it. Yeah. They've been on the front of a magazine. 150 mate. an hour. 150 yeah. pounds an hour. So if you want a lesson with Pete, just email lessons at, pe- <laughs> at finishcoffmedia.com <laughs> and you will and not get a just, reply. Just pay pal us 150 quid and we'll get Pete. Yeah, we'll sure we'll get back to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's minimum three plus hours. Five. Minimum three hours. So you've got to, yeah. you're, you're, you're spending. <laughs> plus fat, plus tips. Yeah. But am I um, am I completely imagining things that when you originally did your lessons, you had an engagement in one of them? Oh yeah, yeah. Someone got uh, proposed to yeah. during a lesson. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Go on. What? You know this? <laughs> no. <laughs> God, it so wasn't you. <laughs> I, had a, I had a couple come over from from Sweden, and basically before the, the, emailed in and said, um, "Yeah, we want to come over." Blah blah blah. I was like, yeah, yeah, cool. Get you booked in here, here, here. And it was almost like a side note. It was almost like a throwaway comment. It was like, by the way, I'm coming over with my girlfriend. And during the last lesson, I want to propose to her. <laughs> now, by this, by, yeah. by this point, by this point, we'd already committed. We'd already got the dates in. Everything was sorted. So I couldn't really go... Oh, sorry. Um, I so, don't, we so, don't do that. Something's come up. Um, <laughs> you don't know, do proposals. I'm, I'm away. I'm hiding in Bermuda or something. <laughs> so it was like, right, that's fine. So anyway, we spent a couple of days together. And then by the end of like the afternoon kind of lesson, we got this video that kind of he'd recorded. We got it all queued up on like all the screens and stuff. Oh my God, to you took part. <laughs> oh yeah, that, they had to, yeah I, I had to be part of it. Uh, they, they had a friend with them who was going to like film the whole kind of proposal thing. So I, for the last two hours of this lesson, I, 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 I have no idea what I said. I like, literally no idea what I said. I, I probably told them absolute nonsense because I was like, I was so nervous. Because someone like that, what's going through your head? It's not like, oh, what a beautiful moment. What if she says no? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, in, we're in a hut in the middle of Burnley. What if she says no? Glamorous. So, so, so how, how did it come about? Like, how did, were you just like in the middle of it and like you were doing this and then he just turned around? No, no. It was like, proposing to me? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. He, he was like, listen, if I hit this one 150, we're getting married. Yeah. He so, came up to me and was like, oh, this, is, this training aid will be really good for you. And then like gave him the box and he turns around. And he's like, oh, that's how it does. Yeah. Yeah. No. And we're actually available. We're actually available to organize and um, implement your engagement. If you would like to get engaged, Via Live the, on the podcast. Via the podcast. <laughs> yeah, go, go to engagements we'll at the <laughs> um, We'll sort that out for you. Yeah, it was. Anyway, so it was coming to the end of the lesson. So I queued up this video and I, I literally said, I, I can't remember what I said, but I practically ran. <laughs> I practically ran out of the studio. Um, but I'd got like, I got a bottle of champagne, I got some flowers, I got everything like Aww. ready. So you basically helped. You helped. Yeah, no, they weren't expecting that. I thought, oh, well, if they've come over for a couple of days of lessons, spent God knows how much money, and they've got engaged. The least I can do is get some nice smelling flowers and a bottle of reasonably priced champagne. Here's a sleeve of Pro V's. Yeah. So <laughs> that was that was that, and you know, happily ever after. Yeah. Wow. When I, I've never heard that story. This, this was in uh, in Burnley. This that one, is so this wild. one at Quest Golf Academy. Wow. So Three years ago now. Three four years ago. Oh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you left, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like, wow. Honestly, that was it was the most nerve wracking lesson. Obviously, but the thing is, like, if you think about it, I was, it, I was, it was in my head for two days. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. Knew, That's I knew this was coming. I feel no, like no. I'm, I feel like I know you pretty well now, and I know that would have been your worst nightmare. So, so you you knew about it for two and a half days. <laughs> I knew about this for like two and a half months. Right. Think, like, about, think uh, about think about how long he had known in order to plan to do it at his lesson with you. He was stressed. He had it easy. No wonder he couldn't hit the ball. I he just, I mean. I can't believe you've never said that story. That's, that's actually. Oh, he that's has, because yeah, I've yeah, heard yeah. it. I just don't know if he's ever said it. To, said it. Yeah. He, I've def- I, it, was a, it was a long time ago you yeah. told me. It, and, was just, it was a thing in my head that I, th- I, I, as you said, your lessons, I was like, did that happen or did I just make that up in my yeah, mind right now? But obviously. It, and once you do one engagement, you know, the other 20. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. They all blend into one, don't <laughs> they? Okay, some quick fires. Does Peter Finch drive? Uh, I yeah, do, far. yeah. A beautiful BMW. Can Peter Finch dance? Mm, it depends how many drinks I have. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone What's your says go-to that. move? What's your go-to move? You're, a, you're at a wedding. Someone points at you. The DJ puts the spotlight on you. So go. I would say I'm not a dancer. I'm a jumper. Okay. There's a difference. 
So, you know, I'm I'm on the dance floor in the middle. There's yeah. long as a lot of people um, just jumping up and down. Going yeah, crazy. you're crisscross. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. You're yeah. bouncing into people. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I get the spotlight on me because I'm doing no. Saturday Night Fever. I'm not that, I'm not that guy. Can Peter Finch cook? Are we still talking about dancing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can actually, I'm not too bad. Yeah, What's your you favorite can. thing to cook? What's your favorite cuisine? Mm, to pizza. Like, but I got to make my own, yeah. obviously. What? Is pineapple allowed on a pizza? I, I I am practically absolutely fine with a pineapple going on a pizza. It's not, you know, it's not the Italian way, but I'm not Italian. So neither's round pizza. So there you go. What? Round pizza's not Italian either. Really? Yeah, it was invented by Americans, so everyone would get the same crust to slice ratio. I'm not sure about this. Uh, this seems like an, nonsense. Uh, I have never heard pizza of in no. Italy is square, it's in a tray. Some people don't get crust because there's middle bits. That's Chicago, isn't it? It's like deep pan, isn't it? No, you sausage. That's very good. I didn't know that. Can Peter Finch sing? We need to check that out. <coughs> Can I sing? Yeah. Again, if I've had enough to drink, <laughs> uh, I can't sing, no, no. Okay, you're doing karaoke. You don't have a choice. Oh, God. Right. You've got a belt one. Mm. What do you go for? Assuming they've got everything. Um, oh, man. I would say, if I went Queen Bohemian Rhapsody... Because you don't have to be able to sing that. To you sing just that. have to. You have to be able to do the first two lines. Yeah, and then everyone else will help you. Exactly, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it, or Sweet Caroline. Because again, mm. you don't have to do any of the singing there. You just like it's hold bit, the mic. You, can, yeah. you can kind of talk it as well. You yeah, don't yeah, have yeah. to yeah. sing it so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or streets blinded by the lights. I was just going to say, yeah, yeah. literally talk. <laughs> you yeah. literally can just talk. <laughs> just you do a street song. Yeah. Um, what grips does Peter Finch golf use? Jumbo Max. Now, I'm considering. Breaking news. I'm considering maybe trying normal grips for a little bit. Oh. Just because, so I've said this to everybody, I've said this before, I struggle massively with my wrists. And since switching to those Jumbo Maxes, I've not had as many problems. But I'm, I also caveat that pretty heavily all the time by saying it might just be coincidence. Correct. Like a placebo sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, so I... I want to actually kind of use normal grip for a little bit just to actually see if the Jumbo Maxis did make a difference. Look forward or... to that first round back. <laughs> That's what I mean. But the, the, the thing is, I'm, I'm, I've played golf long enough now that I can switch kind of back. It's not too much of an issue. But it, it's just, there's no way of actually testing the validity of if it's helped my wrists without actually not using them for a bit mm. what about like yeah. a nice mid-size or a yeah you know somewhere in the middle where you still feel like you're not gripping a, a tiny little reed but you're also not <laughs> yeah. cricket batting it, it. it's 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 weird because like the di <laughs> if you've not used these grips it's hard to kind of tell you the difference there is a massive difference between these grips and even a larger normal grip if yeah. that makes sense like the, the construction how much they weigh and all the rest of it, it it's completely completely you used different. to you used to have like mid-size golf brides though, didn't you? yeah yeah so yeah. it was like so you, you you know you did have thicker than yeah the normal. i mean outside of them being good for your wrist <laughs> there is also uh these feel nicer in my hand than just like you know if you've got a couple of wraps underneath or something like that just to mm. make it a bit thicker just, yeah, I mean, just as a before you say the caveat with your like grips i know some i have had a couple of people ask me this before the jumbo max grips you use are the medium size yeah yeah yeah. so they're, they're not, not they're even not, the xls they're not the rising so everyone like there's i just know there's a couple of people i've seen in the comments asking about because obviously when we've looked as well at them and stuff and you get x uh, extra small 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 it's the medium ones that mm. you use yeah the um i don't know it's tricky because like my hands feel more comfortable i would say in a normal grip with what just a grip, yeah, no just a wraps, grip, yeah, because no. like, obviously I've been used to that for a long yeah, time. Sure, yeah. I can get my fingers exactly yeah. the position I want them to on the jumbo max, especially my thumb and uh, my left thumb and my right hand. It's yeah. a bit of a well, they almost need like a little indent, don't they, mm. for you to get your thumb into the yeah, into the that, slot? Yeah. That'd be illegal. Right? Again, do you find mm. that um, that would be? <laughs> do you find would be against the law? <laughs> do, you, do you find that with like the the big grips that you lose a little bit of feel? Because that's what I've always worried about. Well, that's probably my only sort of, um, um, what would I say? Concern? Like con yeah, concern of it is that, that, you know, that you're not able to, you know, have Is as that much in regards feel. to feel of when you strike it or feel is in regards to like where the club face is and sort of actually having control of the golf club? Well, I make club. so many things of like, you know, you can, I feel like with a, with a smaller grip, you're able to sort of flip your hands a little bit more, but I feel like with the big grips, you're not able to do that as much sort of thing like that because you... Well, I mean, what it does is it 
sort of removes and takes the risks out of it a little bit, doesn't it? Mm. Kind of. I'm, again, I'm, I'm really not sure. Not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure it does. So mm. the, the the difference is that people think if they use it, like I said, use a thicker grip, it'll take your hands out of it. It'll become less active. Yeah, definitely. But there's literally been zero research done mm. on this. So nobody has done like a comprehensive study on if thicker grips slow the rotation of the face or like get the hands moving in a less active manner. It's just not been done. And I'm not entirely sure how it could be done. Mm. It's just a feeling. And feel is, feel is so relative as well. Yeah. Like those grips for me, they're bigger, but I don't feel I'm any less able to control the club face or to it, yeah. Yeah, t get a better touch around the greens. It's, it's such a subjective matter. A lot of people hate them because it just feels so weird. Mm. I quite like them. Yeah, I, so. I don't mind them. Mm. But yeah. feel versus real is such a big thing in golf, oh, isn't yeah. it? Like it doesn't actually necessarily matter if it's doing it or not. If you think subconsciously or even consciously, I suppose, that it is happening and it helps you, then that's that's mm. all that matters really. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Good. So there. Just two more. Mm. And they're both money related. Wonderful. How much does Peter Finch golf make from club reviews? Don't make from club don't reviews. Tell him yeah. Don't tell them. So how much do you make for reviewing a club? Oh, what? so like how much does Callaway pay me to review the driver? Yeah, I think so. I think I, if you're going to go down that road, then I would say it's twofold. Yes. How much do the companies pay you? And then how much do does the our company make from reviewing the club? I see, I see. Well, what, what did Callaway pay me for the Paradigm? Was it 20,000? Was, mm. uh, was it 30? I think 30. 30, 30, yeah, 30. Yeah, I just can't remember now. Um, for club reviews, I don't take any money from companies. It's as simple as that. Don't so speak to me, speak to them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you're the one that sounds like you need convincing. Um, I'm, I'm just echoing the internet's question here, Peter. <laughs> yeah, so whenever we, whenever we review a club, um, so yeah, Callaway, for example, they will send through their clubs if you do it, Murphy. Murphy. Um, <laughs> Callaway will send through like their club. We will do a review based on the data, based on the story. There's clubs that are sent through to us that we don't review and um, that we don't think are kind of going to be of interest to anybody. Um, so it's kind of like we make that decision. We don't get paid for that. We just get the clubs through. And there's a there's an understanding between us, between the manufacturers, but I've got to be honest, I think most people who review clubs and the manufacturers, the, the independence of that review is absolutely paramount in importance. Yeah. Because as soon as you do a review on a club which you're paid to review, that is going to take away some of that, well, it will take away that kind of independent voice. There's, there's no way around it. Even if you be as honest as possible, you're not going to actively slate a club which is coming from a manufacturer which is paying you money. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So why would you do that? So yeah, as long as we do kind of independent reviews, we're not going to take any money off kind of the manufacturers of those clubs. Yeah. Simple as that. It would be like Grant, who is, you know, quite famously a tailor-made indoor C, reviewing the driver and saying it's great. To be honest, like the, let's say... You pick a pick a manufacturer out. Let's say I don't know Mizuno, yeah. Mizuno for example. So Mizuno come along and said, "Okay, we're going to offer you this um, to be an ambassador." And we say, "Yep, yeah, cool, amazing, can't wait, thank you." Yeah, can we make sure the team gets some clubs as well? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> and a fitting. I'll call my yacht the Mizuno One. Um, <laughs> Which yacht? <laughs> Which one, mate? <laughs> well, the one in Monte Carlo is it Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah, Monte Carlo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monaco. Proof that you're not rich enough to go there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shows, shows how much is. I know about both. Yeah, exactly. um, so if that was the case, like we could do stuff like um, like we could go over to visit the HQ, we could talk about the clubs and all the rest of it, but it, it's more like a, here's what we're doing, look how cool it is, thanks for watching. Like, But then if we did a comparison of, say, a Mizuno iron to a Titleist iron, that is not going to be a completely subjective review. It can't be. Yeah. Um, Cause I mean, it will win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, there are, there are ways, there are definitely ways where you could be sponsored by a club manufacturer and still do reviews of other clubs and you can still in your own right be independent, but it just gives an opportunity to someone who doesn't agree with that review to then say, you're only doing that because you're getting paid. Yeah. And it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. And like I said, the, the reviews on this channel are, one of the core kind of content streams. So 
if they were to go, they'd have to be replaced by something. And I enjoy doing the reviews. I enjoy getting these new clubs, testing them all out, seeing how the technology is progressing. I don't really see a need to, to change that yet. Yeah, and then, so from the other end, <clears throat> How much, let's think about the Callaway situation again. How much did we make from the Callaway review this year? How much does that video make us? I have absolutely no idea. I think for a rough guide, a very, very rough guide, if you get 100,000 views on a video, it's going to be around $1,000. Mm. Okay. But it it can vary wildly. Like you mm. can get, you can get, 400,000 views on a video and that not make a thousand just because of white watch time and ads and all the rest of it. It's a CPM. It's a, it's an interesting world. <laughs> just say ad, just say <laughs> CPM. It's just like <laughs> buzzwords, say, isn't say, it? Say abbreviations over there and hope people don't live well, in. I actually don't know what it stands for, but I know. <laughs> I, I say that's in uh, oh, okay. clicks per minute. Yeah. For, uh, is it? I was like, yeah. I think I've watched a few YouTube videos to know that CPM is what we're looking for. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah. I, like, I, I, like, I like CRM. That's my yeah. favorite. Yeah. I like a, like a nice bit of VHS. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's it's so wildly varied. Like, and I said this before, it's why can you see with course vlogs and longer form course vlogs? That's why it, it, it's it's such a good video to make if you're getting popular because people watch that for so long and the CPM becomes higher. So yeah, watch time is is a big factor. Yeah, watch time's key. So it's a yeah, it's always a an interesting kind of. What's the word? Not exactly project, but it is an ongoing um, kind of reevaluation of the videos that work. Like what actually makes sense, what people want to watch. It's yeah, it's a whole kind of a whole other thing on its own. Yeah, it, I I sometimes think that people imagine we have a you know a very laid back understanding of what makes good content, and we just mm. go and make a video. But in fact, all of the work that goes on before you even put the script together working out what people want to see, what people are going to click on, what the thumbnail looks like, what the title looks like, where we go, you know, all that stuff makes a massive difference even before you mm. click record on the camera. Interesting though. I wonder what it would be to, if you've got like a manufacturer on board to sponsor us, what would that have to look like to stop doing the reviews? Who would you get? Mm. <coughs> well, it, I suppose is there the is a balancing out there, isn't there? Because if they give you enough... It, yeah, it would almost have to be so like company X comes on and says, you know, we want to sponsor you, we're going to give you all our clubs, we want you to be an ambassador. And for that, we're going to give you this in return and we're going to give you access to mm. these players. Because mm. that'd have to be the, I think yeah. that'd have to be the key. Yeah. Because yep. that, that, yeah, that would have to be the key. And that solves your new video series Precisely. stream problem as well. Mm. Because yeah, you've yeah. got a whole new Because you've got six, category. 18 whole course logs with John Spieth. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's, okay. It's also what kind of your, what you want to do as well. Because I get the vibe that you actually really enjoy doing them. And you know, oh, club you, Yeah, yeah, you yeah. It's like, cool. yeah, yeah. You like making them as sort of as fair as possible, as creditable as possible. Like, I like that about, about the club reviews. I, I feel like in the sort of industry, I think the, and this is coming from a biased but unbiased opinion, but I think that we make the most creditable reviews out there. I think. Yeah, yeah, we won. We won Tech Month. Yeah, last we won. Year. I, I, I'd we, say we won Driver Release yeah. Week. Oh, was that that award we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we murdered it. Just about the amount. They're of unofficial, uh, but you we, know, we, we just body yeah. Death, yeah. Yeah. Just the amount of depth body we kind of go into, and and you know, you actively test the clubs, go out and test them, not just in uh, in the studio here, but you know, out on a golf course, sort of thing, like that. You know. I no, think I agree. It's, I, I think I, it's again somewhat biased, but I agree. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I just think I just think we do it well, you know. And the fact that you use the same shafts in in each driver, the, you know, like we you know we try and make it as scientific as possible. You know, <laughs> like, you know I we, don't know. Do you know what I mean? Do you like, know, every year we get, you know, after, uh, in driver season, we get those comments that are like. Um, yeah, so what you're using it. This is my comment voice. Wow, okay. Yeah, so what you're using. I have to do my hands. So what you're using the same shaft. Doesn't matter. Get a robot to hit the ball and see how different it is. Do you remember those? We yeah. get that comment every single year. Get a robot to do it or it's not real. It's a good idea. It'd be cool to get a robot, to be fair. It would be good to get a robot. Um, but they would take up a bit of room, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think we might have to build the room around that robot. <laughs> um, just like his swing path. <laughs> just like. Don't like assume it. the robot's gender. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what, did I, what did I say? Did I say it's, it's yeah, oh, wow. unbelievable. Okay, last one. And this <laughs> this could get a, a little esoteric also. How much so, is Peter Finch worth? Wait, sorry. Can I just ask that before? What? Esoterical? Yeah. It, 
swallow the it's it's uh, LucasAid sports drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> isotonic. This isotonic. Could, this could get a bit isotonic, this. Tell me, define that for me, please. Esoteric. Yeah, it define it. like uh, within your own head and, um, you know, in the world and less, less, it, it, uh, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm Google. Google. Sorry, Google. sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I love words. I love. I love. Do you? Yeah, I like hearing you. You guys seem to have such a vast vocabulary. That Intended I for or likely to be understood by only a small number of people with a specialized knowledge or interest. Mm. So it's actually probably not the word I meant. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know what you were. I know what yeah. you were. Ethereal. Ethereal. I know what you were grasping for. Yeah. There, I, mean. I love it. Um, I love it. Sorry. Okay. Let's start let, that again. We'll maybe. go back and we'll go back to the clip. Yeah. Let's start <clears> that again. How much? Is Peter Finch worth? Mm, uh, how do they calculate? Worth? I don't know. Like, what? What's the? What, yeah. What is the answer? What does the? What's the internet answer? Do you know? I don't know. Oh. I've absolutely no idea. I think I've actually looked this up before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a look. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm it's actually really good. Because if Pete, if you if you're thinking about it right now, here we go. We've got the internet. Who's going to help you out? And they're going to tell you exactly. It's it's if it's on the, if it's on Google, it's on the internet. Then it's a hundred percent true. I'm pretty sure it says you're a millionaire. Well, well, sure. here we go, there we go. Here we go. Wow. Here we, what an is An actual he? number. Okay, yeah. hit me. I'm, I'm not going to name drop the website because it doesn't look, <laughs> doesn't look authentic. No, it definitely is. <laughs> Well, it's not like Barclays. <laughs> 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 on my ba- is it on my banking? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading out your bank account numbers. <laughs> that was a lot of zeros. <laughs> um, estimated annual earnings. Oh, no. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Annual. This is your net worth. Okay. Oh. 1.68 million. No way. Wow. <laughs> That's Could we amazing. sell you and make that money? That's cool. There you go. You never know. You could buy us all a house. Yeah, I could buy my house. <laughs> there we That'd go. Only once. Um, uh, I... Well, think? unfortunately, that isn't true. No. Um, I have recently fixed a leak in my roof. Oh, yeah. Um, and I can honestly say I'm worth substantially less <laughs> than I was two months ago. Oh, I thought you were going to say because you'd fixed it, I thought you'd fixed it yourself and that you felt that your self-worth had gone yeah, up because you'd yeah. achieved something. But in fact, you just spent a lot of money on you fixing it. You someone to spend a lot of money and ended up uh, fixing it myself. Okay. So... Well, my dad, me and my dad did. It's not 1.6 million. No, no. 1.68. That might be... No, no, that, that's your last. That's the last thirty days. <laughs> that's one point six eight thousand. That's how much he says I've earned in the last month. I tried to make it good for the podcast. Oh, <laughs> so one point six eight thousand in the last month. That's a bit more realistic, actually. That's not. That's been this month. Bloody hell! L- lots of other things happened in the golf world, and we'll be sure to discuss them another time. <laughs> Should we, guess, should we do guess a player? I mean... Oh, you don't want to talk about any more golf news, Dan? Well, what golf news can you remember no, from no, this no, list? No, 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 it's, it's Without fine. looking. It's fine. I mean, listen, the world of professional golf is in absolute turmoil. Uh, PIF deal is kind of probably going to fall through. A massive investment into the PGA Tour by Endeavour. That's gone down the swanee as well. Phil Mickelson's been on his rant page and rant again on social media about how the world of professional golf is all going to be funded by Liv and Liv's going to take over. But you know what? It's fine. Don't worry about it. The very, the very, <laughs> the very pinnacle of golf is at stake. But I suppose that's right. I suppose who cares. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's it? How, how's it going to affect I Bob? Mean, uh, am I bothered though? How's it going to affect Bob? <laughs> yeah, walking out there Saturday morning, just trying to knock a shot of his listen, handicap. You cares? just, you just covered it. So I mean, why? we just. We just found out how tall Peter Fitch is. Yeah. So I think that's probably yeah, a bit more important. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he know. fixed his roof. Yeah, yeah. Just a, just a whole segment on questions which aren't about the actual decent <laughs> Peter Finch. <laughs> I'm not referring to myself in third person because that's a different person. But no, anything that I might have some actual kind of expertise on. No, fine. no, no, no. Are absolutely. you good at cooking? That's absolutely. all I want to know. Necessary. What's your favourite <laughs> food? Can you sing? Pizzas aren't round. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> Get my piece of me round, please. Pieces aren't round. Don't worry about it. Oh. To be, to be, what did we say before? Or even why did you say Mick before uh, when we were planning this? And I was doing all that, and you were like, "We're not a golf <laughs> podcast." <laughs> 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 Just no. cause, did just you just listen to the last hour of Waffle? <laughs> just because you don't care about professional golf doesn't mean other people do. Uh, right, okay, I te- tell you what, I tell you what, we'll read it out and you can comment on each one. Yeah, give us a one word review. Yeah? Okay, right, I'm ready. <clears throat> I'll keep it. Yeah, sure. Endeavour pulls out of... T- 
Wait, do a news at 10 bong for me. Bong. Endeavor pulls out of talks for investment into PGA Tour after they turn down offer. Shocking. So I just want to very, very quickly round this up. PGA mm-hmm. need more money. They're trying to get investment from lots of sources. PIF slash live want to do this merger and they want to pump a load of money in. U.S. kind of lawmakers are a little bit like, not 100% sure about this. Can you get some other investment in? Endeavor was going to be one of those companies, and they have now pulled out. The deal between the PGA and Liv looks like it's going to stall, probably going to be moved back. The whole world of professional golf is just in absolute flames. It is a dumpster fire right now. Nobody knows what's going on. You've got 1.68 million. Why don't you invest? <laughs> <laughs> I think that would maybe pay for last place in the living room. <laughs> I don't think it even would. No. Maybe another bong. Maybe I could get a sponsor's invite into a live event and finish last. There you go. <laughs> that will get my net worth up. So apparently Endeavor had given $1 billion to live golf before pulling out on the request of Jay Monaghan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then... So did he say, he told no. him to pull out? <laughs> and he went, okay. So it's, it's honestly, it's so, it's so weird. It's so convoluted. Because the thing is, everyone, everyone is trying to get money into golf because golf is always seen as this clean court, fantastically sponsor friendly sport. Because n- there's never any, dr- there never was any drama. Like golf was such like a normal, mm. peaceful sport. Yeah, it, it was nice. You know, you went out, you played a nice green carpet. It was all lovely. Oh, players playing really good golf. Oh, everyone plays golf. Everyone who plays golf is a gentleman. Oh, it's all great. And, and then now, boom, Patrick Reed. It's now, it's now just, oh. it's gone absolutely <laughs> crazy. crazy. <laughs> I was going to say Tiger Woods. <laughs> and then you got TGL coming in as well. You got this oh, yeah. new thing happening there. Nobody knows what's happening Are with we- the DP World Tour because that is really struggling it's basically just confirmed itself as a feeder tour to the PJ tour now which is an absolute disgrace I, I saw you tweeted about that it's so yeah. annoying I, used, I, I grew up watching the European <laughs> tour and it used to be so much fun it used to be great and like most of the people who are watching I really identified with and wanted to be when I was a grown up adult not quite there yet used to play on the European tour and now the European tour has basically said if you finish at the top of the European tour rankings Guess what your congratulatory handshake is? Go off to the States and play the PJ Tour because that's better than us. Oh, but by the way, if you've actually done crap on the PJ Tour, don't worry about that either. Because you, you can come, come, you can come <laughs> play with us. We will take your worst players. Give give us your give us your give us your rubbish. Give us your rubbish. <laughs> Keith Pelly is basically sat there with his recycling bin saying, Oh, do you wanna do you wanna come in here? I'll take you to the plant. Chuck you in, and you'll come out as a DP World Tour player. <laughs> and we'll, we'll get someone. We'll get something new. We'll get something new. Don't worry. Don't worry. Come on. Come on over. Come on over. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be on uh, socials. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. in the hour. that's welcome to Rant Street with Peter. That's, that's, my, that's my that's my two P's. It, it just it it just what it's, it's, it's just upsetting, isn't it? I, I I do I do agree with you, and especially like I know how much you love the DP World Tour. Just like it's just been. Piss, you know, pissed aside. It's, it's, it's just... I meant to say pushed. Every, everybody, everybody knows. Everybody knows that the best quality of competition is on the PJ Tour. Yeah. Everybody knows that the biggest purses certainly used to be on the PJ Tour. Mm-hmm. Now it's kind of live. And you've got DP World, which is just stuck at the side, at the pooey end of the triangle down here, being like, what are we going to do? We can't raise the investment to get the funds up, so players aren't going to come over PJ Tour. We lost quite a few players to the DP uh, to live, so like where are we? We've got like some really good players. We need to enhance this tour a little bit more, and the way to do that is not to give away your best players to a rival tour. Never mind the strategic partnership, which is not a strategic partnership. It's the PGA <laughs> Tour saying we want this. Yeah, it's great for the VGA Tour, yeah. not great for DP. We want this. Give us this, and the DP World Tour has just gone. Okay, cool. We'll do that. And th- there is a part of me which understands how giving certain exemptions and certain memberships to players from the PJ Tour when they don't quite excel at that level. I can understand it because you're going to get some good players coming over. But it, it says it says that the DP World Tour is not exactly giving up on being a premium tour, but it's saying, use us as a stepping stone. Mm-hmm. Like We are here to push you forward to go somewhere else. Don't yeah. stay with us. Don't stay here. No loyalty. Yeah. 
It, it, yeah, it, it doesn't. Well, that, that people will follow the money as much as they I can. I was about to say, I, I just don't feel like DP World Tour can compete. I think that's probably what they've realised. But it doesn't it? even feel like they're trying. No, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it just yeah. feels yeah. like okay, he's got they got the Rolex mm. series, he's got some high paying events, but it just feels like they're just saying okay, we we've given up. Like yeah. if you come here, you play well, leave. Yeah, but I, it kind of feels like you know it's, it's like when you go into a restaurant, you know, when, when you go into like a a Michelin style restaurant, okay. you know, yeah. you walk in. And you know, you know, it's quite expensive. Oh, you welcome, see, sir. I'm there. You, yeah. you see PJ Tour sitting there. Don't look see, me in the eye. Oh. You see Liv sitting Hello, there. Hello, PJ. How are you? Yes, and, <laughs> and you're and you're sitting there. You know, you, uh -huh. you feel like you you dressed up. You, well, you know, you yeah, feel I'll, like you're I'll, doing all right. I've you know got no I mean? tie on. Yeah. Your shoes good. are uncomfortable. And then you get the wine list. Oh yeah. Mm. And Ooh. then you see the wage of that. You know, you oh. see. Oh, what's a small glass of wine? Oh, twenty five pounds. Right. Um, we have salad for the lady. Is this one good? Then. So then it gets to the point where it's like, all oh, right, how much the taste of many? Oh, that's a hundred and sixty pounds. <sighs> wow. Okay. God, do you know what? I think you've misprinted. There's too many zeros. I think. <laughs> yeah. But then it's like, should we just go Mackey's? They just, they just, they just gone. Do you know what? Should we set this up? We'll just go Mackey's. We'll feed everyone. All right. We'll feed the world. Do you know what I mean? Wow, that's that was one of the best things you've ever uh, said. You know what? Yeah. I don't know where that was going. No, no, was that all right? Was that you know? It's kind of that's. Do you know what I'm trying to get at? I yeah, just don't I think saying. they can. They, they can't, can't. They can't afford the wine. They can't afford the wine. So they're just like. Let's just. I'm going for my 99p cheeseburger. Exactly. It's not even 99 anymore. It's like 199. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. What is this place coming to? You? How much a Freddo is nowadays? Don't, yeah, get, me started. don't get me started on Freddos. What, no. did, what did Mickelson tweet? <laughs> <laughs> It was it was just in relation to the Endeavour deal yeah, and okay. that the, they were looking to invest uh, before. Don't, we don't want to set him off again, so even, let's not do it. Do, are we going to announce our TGL news or are we holding that? <laughs> do we have news? Do we have news? Are we oh. announcing the TGL? Oh, we're not, we're no, not announcing not, it yet. Not, you know, oh, not yet, no. Yeah, no. Okay. The, Dis the Didsbury Diamond Dogs. No, we're not. <laughs> Oh, just, just imagine all those cities in the TGL. Yeah. <laughs> got LA, got Boston, got New York, got Didsbury. <laughs> Not even Manchester, Didsbury. It's so specific. Karen could be our manager. Karen, if you're watching this podcast still, darling. Yes. Good Lord above. Um, okay. Good one word answer that, by the way. Celine Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Celine oh, Boutier God. wins after nine playoff holes. Yeah. Oh, yeah that, that playoff was on, like, they were like properly just like, following each other in with Bird. It was, there was nothing between them, but like, she's had a great year, mm. by the way. No, yeah, not too bad. Been good. Yeah, she went on a bit of a, bit of a burn in the middle of the year and then she's back again. Nine yeah. playoff holes. It's just too many. You just, you've played off a round again. Yeah. I'm that, tired. That would have taken what? Two out, two hours yeah. on top of the round? Yeah, you just played off a round again. Was it, were they playing in the dark or was it? I don't know. I'd actually. have thrown it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing my flight. Yeah, whack it in the trees. I'm late. I'm hungry. I need to go to McDonald's. <laughs> Campio, Campio lost in the playoff. Yeah, mm, yeah. Friend, Friend of the, of the channel. channel. Yeah. Jorge Campio. Jorge. Jorge. Arriba. So who, who did he lose to? Valimaki. There you go. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure that... Is that Valimaki's... Is, is it his first win? No, it's his second. It's his first but, win in about four and a half years. Yeah. Or something oh, crazy. Been a, been a long time. He's, um, so yeah. he's, me. he's finished? Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they are done. He's finished or... Oh. He's finished. He's finished or yeah. he's finished? He's finished on the DP World Tour because yeah. he's going to the PGA Tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can afford the wine now. Well, yeah. Alison Lee breaks r records. Yes, she Tell does. Me. What happened? Uh, in the LET Aramco event this week, she, again, friend of the channel, we played mm -hmm. with her in Dubai. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, Moonlight Classic. Moonlight Classic. Dubai. And uh, Dubai. she went on an absolute tear. She shot 11 under uh, uh, on two rounds, which yeah. equals the highest round on the LET. She did it twice. Lowest round. Lowest round, sorry. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, she finished 29 under for the tournament, which not only is the equals the 54 hole, sorry, it equals the 72 hole record. And obviously it is the 54 hole and also set the 36 hole record as well. She scored eight consecutive birdies, which equals the highest run of birdies on the LET. And she became the second player to win bogey free. Just imagine what it's like. Must be like to be that good a goal. It's ju it's just outside of the realms of understanding of a normal <laughs> human. She shot eleven under two days in a row. Just she shot sixty one two days in a row. I don't That's think absurd. I could. I don't think I could shoot eleven um, under over two days. No, two years, mate. <laughs> I got a birdie the other day, I'll have you know. <laughs> okay, they? well, that's one month, so <laughs> <laughs> it probably is a year. It's just that, just imagine like every golfer knows the feeling of getting home, 
looking at themselves in the mirror and just <coughs> thinking, God, you're a disgrace. <laughs> you are awful at golf. Just imagine the reverse feeling of going in after you've you shot disgrace. 11 under twice and going, you know what, you're, you're pretty you good. You are a <laughs> disgrace. Look at you. <laughs> 11 under. You are actually... <laughs> you disgrace. Fantastic. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> okay. It's probably how Grant Horvath feels right now. Oh, yeah. oh, uh, now. We've gone full circle and Grant's the best. I need mm. to, uh, I'll message Tyler, her caddy. I still speak to him a little bit. Mm. So I might message him and see. See if he can give us some little insight. Yeah, yeah. What got you there? Get back on my channel, son. Take all the credit. Yeah. Going back to do, boy. <laughs> my clubbing was fantastic. Uh, yeah. I don't, yeah. Know, I don't know why I went. Yeah, I'm taking the credit. Yeah. Um, okay. Now guess the player. Should we should we try and guess a Do golfer? Want, yeah. Do want to play so that? it's been it's been four weeks of no guess the player. So you're all a little bit. You're I'm out. I'm rusty. I'm not laboring not... swings. Um, the intro on here does it explain the rules? <clears throat> oh yeah, fantastic. Shall I press play? Yeah, hit the bottom right button. Hello and welcome back to the 2023 Rough Cut Open. I'm your host Vic Warwick. This is the game where your knowledge of golf history is more important than your ability to actually hit the ball how the game works. At the end of each episode, I describe the life and career of a famous golfer. And after each clue, these accomplished professionals write down who they think it is. However many hints it takes them to get home is how many shots they took on that hole. So if you get a par five after just four clues, you would finish that hole in one under par. We rejoin the action with four weeks since the last hole where everyone suffered a double bogey at the hands of tricky par five Langer, with Peter Finch still leading at three under, Jacob Brawbridge at even, and Kieran Mulhall lagging behind at plus eight. Let's get back to the action. <laughs> plus eight, it's not wow. plus eight. No, it I, no, it's not plus eight. Yeah, it is. It is, right? it is. Cause Pete was ahead by loads and then Everyone doubled the last one, oh, so you, and you were you were <coughs> you were six over, lagging behind. It's very me and Pete also had a hole in one, didn't we? So that yeah, well, so that does. Can I miss the cut after like nine holes? No. Just not. I've thought I've thought of something <laughs> way better for next time. It's going to be match play, right? Okay. Next the next time round, right? It's going to be three way match play. Okay. So you Good. can only win or lose. Okay. And then you know we'll be a point system or something. Basically, we need to make it fair because Kieran keeps getting battered. I think this is Kieran's week. Though. You think? No. What, 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 we don't know the hole yet. What's the hole? Is it what par is it? It's a par four. Ooh, solid. Now, we're going to call this the um, bar wise meter. But prior to us recording no. the episode, I go and test it on David in the other room um, to see if he can get it. And he was on the right lines, but he doubled it. Mm. Oh my god! That's never a good sign. It's That's ne never and, a good sign. And David sign. knows golf. Yeah, it's not a good sign. So he doubled it. Damn! So we got another tough one. Okay, so you said uh, thank you for mentioning how tough the hole is because I'm about to talk you through it. Very very simple tee shot, right? Right. Straight down the middle, no trees, no bunkers, very light rough. Okay. Right. From your second shot, you can see the green, but there's water behind it. Okay. All right. Okay. Shot number one, what are you hitting? It's, oh, it's 409 yards. Oh, driver. Oh, driver, driver, driver then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's wide open. Drive. Yeah. Yeah. Shot number one. Okay. This player was homeschooled. Wow, there you go. Wow. This player was homeschooled. <laughs> this player was homeschooled. This <laughs> this play was homeschooled. That's I've, I've said it twice already. I'm not going to say it again. Right, right that's what we're getting. That's all you're getting. Oh, damn. This you know, I, I, I don't have an encyclopedic knowledge of who went to a public school system in the UK and abroad. Well, you're not going to get hole in one then, are you? doesn't know if it's you. Oh, right. You said abroad. Sorry. He was homeschooled or she was homeschooled. Oh, yeah. Just trying to think of anyone I know. <laughs> And I don't. Well, I took a swing. It's taken off. I've no idea where it's gone. Bit foggy on your oh. your when you get there. I'm gonna put someone down. <laughs> this is yeah. Okay. You, yes, you have to put someone down. Oh, I have to put someone down. Okay. <laughs> Peter Finch. You need to make sure you cover it up. You need to cover it up. You know what? I I. 
I, I'm going to tell everyone what club I hit. I hit a Harry Varden there. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. If, uh, if, Harry Va- if Harry Varden was saying schooled, wow. If Harry okay. Varden is the answer, you are welcome. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I tell you what, you actually, you win a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he said that with confidence. I don't think you're right. Yeah. <gasps> no, he's not. Okay. Shot number two. How did you do? Oh, great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fairway? Yeah. Look, I've put a golfer down, so I've made contact. That's fine. The ball has left yes, the tee box. Yes, yes, Shot number two. In 2011, this player featured in their first tour event in Mobile, Alabama where they were tied with the leader through 54 holes, but went on to finish T19 after a final round 78. Uh, actually. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat that one more time, please? I'm going to. <clears throat> in 2011, this player featured in their first tour event in Mobile, Alabama, where they were tied with the leader through 54 holes, but went on to finish T19 after a final round 78. Oh, I love the sound of you writing. 2011. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. That's an interesting day, isn't it? <laughs> I hate I hate when you do years as well, because it just makes me remember how long ago that was. Like 2011 yeah. should have been about five years That's ago. That's yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Shocking, isn't it, really? Pete's 37, everyone. Horrible. Oof. Oh. Or I'm a 38. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you're whatever you decide to be by the sounds of it. I identify as 38. Yeah. I've been 21 all year. It's great. Lauren's never getting older. Fair enough. It's really weird. Good for her. When um, I'm going to, I'm going to just, i will just, just gone back to the T because I just wanted to, I might have forgot my club. <laughs> um, <You're> Harry Varden. <laughs> when we say homeschooled. Yeah. Excuse you. When we say homeschooled, yeah. does that mean like high school? Does that mean college? Does that mean like he never, just went, never went to, to school. an uh, let me establishment? Just, let me just check with the rules official. <laughs> uh, you've actually already played your second shot, so there's no need for you to go back to the first shot. Wow. Unless you want a three shot penalty, you cheeky git. Interesting. I love the fact that that, that would make a difference. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's home. Oh, it was only at college. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, because I thought well, it was this person. And now I've decided it's not him. Let's say they took part in the 2011 Mobile Classic as uh-huh. an amateur uh-huh. representing a certain college. Uh-huh. And that's the information that I have. That's true, yeah. And now I've got it wrong. Yeah, that's because true. Because I didn't think he went to a college then that, quite frankly, is a case for getting the rules official over. Yeah, that, that is and true. And excluding the head referee, Mick Warwick, That's true. from the future of this game. However, you have already hit the shot that you're asking me about. You've hit the next oh, one. So I can't, can't retrospectively change scores because that's never happened in tournament golf. Not in this, not in this flaming tournament, it doesn't. Jeez, Christ, I did. Oh, you'll be Toro. ejected, bro. <laughs> You'll get a 19, 43 shot penalty. Endeavour's just, Endeavor's just pulled out. Of Would you of like store. an additional shot? Because I'll give it to you. I, I, I think we should give him points for slow play. This, this is just, <laughs> He's this is the, bloody forever. I've literally sat here. I'm, I'm, I've got a grin on my on my face about this score. So Go on. Shot one three. more outburst wanna, like that. Yeah. I, I've stopped talking. You're the one still going on about it. Shot number three. <laughs> Kieran looks so confident. I'm really excited for him. <laughs> Shot number three. Should be up near the green somewhere. Par four. This player won their first and only major title in 2014. <laughs> You're not so happy now, are you? <laughs> <laughs> this player won their first and only major title in 2014. Oh, that's a bit of furious writing. If you're not watching, this is so much more fun to watch than it is to listen to. Thank you so much for listening, but come and watch it on YouTube. But thank you. Bless you. Thank you, sir. Come and watch it on YouTube because the stress that these guys emit when they are trying to answer these clues is just wild. I love it and hate it at the same time. Yeah, it's great. Mm. It's so good. I just rolled in a uh, 34 birdie pop, by the way. It's like when you, go to, when, you, when you go to the pub quiz and there's a question that no one gets but you get right and there's that just little euphoria that... Smug. And yeah. You, yeah. yeah. That but is, on the flip that side... That is basically Pete's personality. <laughs> <laughs> I just opened the bag of Paul's scratchings and I'm just having a few. I'm looking around saying, why are people struggling? Yeah. <laughs> why should, everyone, everyone knows I'm surprised Voldemort's David didn't get was. this because I would have thought like hey, that clue would have been oh, good for him. Hang on, hang on. David panicked. Did he? Yeah. 
<laughs> he was like, <laughs> I have time like stress. That. I was like, did you think they're not going to have time stress? <laughs> <laughs> he just tested the quiz out of him. He yeah. wasn't, wasn't involved. <laughs> it was panic. Right. It's nothing to do with him. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, Kieran. Kieran had it. Well, he thought he had it. After the second shot, he was walking up to the hole. <laughs> yeah, he's walked past his ball. <laughs> I, I've got a feeling that he's, I, I, he's hit his shot. He thinks it's gone in. I think it might be the water I, in the, the back water of the, at the back. Right, put it this way: I, I, I don't think I'm double bogeying, but I, I think I'm close. Okay. okay, okay. Here we go. This is your par. If you don't get it after this, you're going to be over for the hole. Mm -hmm. Shot number four. In 2017, this player reached number four in the official World Golf Rankings. The same year, they were the scoring leader on the LPGA Tour. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey. What? Say that again. In oh. 2017, this player reached number four in the official World Golf Rankings. The same year, they were the scoring leader on the LPGA Tour. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> it means that they're a woman. Woman. <clears throat> Sugar it. Shiitake ha mushrooms. Well. Have you got are you, are you keeping yours? No, 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 no. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd boxed it. No, no, no. I thought, no. Oh, 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 that bird, that smug birdie mm. putt looks so good, does it? No, I lipped out. I yeah. Didn't, didn't see it. <laughs> um, hit right. <laughs> and I thought I made uh, like a par. I was ready to get a par, but now it's a double. Um, so, so just say that again, sorry, mate. You come through me again with that. In 2017, yep. this player reached number four in the official world golf rankings. The same year they were the scoring leader on the LPGA Tour with a scoring average, I believe, of 69.34. Oh, I believe. <laughs> As if it's not written down in front of you. It's not. I, I'm oh, okay. literally just remembering that Fair from enough. the uh, article I read. Wow. <sighs> Only one major. 2014. <gasps> Murphy, what are you doing? <gasps> it's Murph. Hey, Murph. If you're watching on YouTube, you can see Murph. <laughs> What's yeah. up, bro? What did you see? Which golfer is it? Uh, Murph. What did you see on the laptop, Murph? Oh. <laughs> Tell us. Give it, put the uh, mic to his face. He might think. Murph, who was it? Oh, a bit of ASMR, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> Murph, who won that only major in 2014? Mar you... uh, Murph, Murph did take a tee <laughs> shot, but it ended up in the rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> I, I really don't know. I've got a name. You do, Kieran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just a first name, though. Okay, so uh, shot number five. If you uh, don't get it on this one, you're going to be two over. Two over is the worst you can get in this game. <laughs> Everyone got something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't love it. But... In June 2021, she led the US Women's Open going into the last round at the Olympic Club in San Francisco, California. In the final round, towards the end of her front nine, she led by five strokes. However, she shot a five over par 41 on the back nine and missed out on a playoff by one stroke. Hmm. In June 2021, she led the US Women's Open going into the last round of, at the Olympic Club in San Francisco, <coughs> California. Bless you again. In the final round towards the end of her front nine, she led by five strokes. However... She shot a five over par 41 on the back nine and missed out on a playoff by one stroke. I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've got, I think I've doubled, but. Yeah, I have no idea. It doesn't really matter now, does it? Because it's either for a par or. Well, that's, you, that's your last yeah, guess because yeah, yeah. you're just getting doubles. Then. I've got a guess down. Have you got a guess down? Yeah, I got, I got yeah. a guess. You're going to keep your guess. I got a guess at par. Yeah. Okay. Are you keeping your par one? Pete? Yeah, I've got to guess a par as well. Okay. So this is your giveaway. This is for two over. If you didn't get it before this, you you have two over. Yes, sir. Well done. You're Kieran. <laughs> In October of this year, she became the seventh woman to play on the PGA Tour got, when she played in the Shriners Come Children on. Open. She shot 73-69 to miss the cut by two strokes. Today's player is... Lexi, Lexi Thompson. Thompson. Yes, I got a, I got a bogey. I got a par. Yeah, I doubled, <laughs> doubled that. 
Do you know for the for the first one with homeschooled, I put Micah Morris. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember him telling us that. I was like, is he going to be really sneaky? And put <laughs> is he? Well, I didn't. I, yeah, I when, know, yeah. When we were doing the um, podcast after, he was saying about it. Ah. Yeah. Okay, so who did you have? Who did you have going through? You had Morris. Then I had Spieth. Uh, and then I had Keegan Bradley. Was that a 2014 major? Uh, the 2014 major, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I had, I had Georgia Hall. What did I'd... what did he win? What did Keegan win? Because I'm trying to work it out. Because uh, Rory P- PGA, PGA, yeah. 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 I, th- I think that was it. No, 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 no. Rory, Rory won 2014. I'm, I'm, I don't know if he won oh, in 20. Right. I'm just, I, I know he's won one major. Uh, I just didn't know if it was. That's what I mean. The Rory won both the PGA, uh, yeah, PGA and the Open at Royal Liverpool that year. And I was like, well, who was the Masters champion? Did has Jason Day won the Masters? No. no, no, he's only won once. But who's PJ? Yeah, but then we were looking at the wrong gender. So I can't <laughs> believe that Lexi Thompson has only won one major. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. considering how long she's been around. Yeah, but she was. Yeah, I think number four was the highest she got in the world. She, you know, dominated. For how long she's been around for? Yeah, played it. Played in that's mad. the actual PGA Tour events and stuff, and just only won one. That's crazy. She had the mystical by one, didn't she? Is it, is it sad right. to think that when you said about a woman who blew away a lead, my mind went to Lexi Thompson? So that's why I got it. Yeah. Mm. What was the fourth clue? I can't even remember that one. Uh, um, that, oh, that was the... The major one. Uh, uh, yeah, one a major. In Majors, the, yeah. yeah, that was the third one. Uh, no, was no, it? Uh, yeah, fourth, oh, yeah, it was, fourth yeah. one was reached a career high of fourth in the world. Oh, yeah, yes. that was it, yeah. yeah. And, and you she, was, she was a scoring leader yeah. as well. Yeah, see, but Lexi never came to my mind because of that. I thought yeah, she yeah. must have been first mm. at some point. Oh well, there we go. And they changed the name of her major a few times as well. That was a bloody hard research, right? <laughs> it was called something the A N A. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, 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 and then it also then got bought by it got spo- like a long term sponsorship yeah, by someone. And they they just keep changing the name of it. Yeah, it keeps switching. Around. You can't, that's not how these. That's not how majors are supposed to work. Yeah, I think <laughs> whenever you sponsor a major, it's always yeah. a bit awkward. Isn't it? Yeah. So I've gained. I've gained shots. Though. So you have gained yeah, yeah, yeah. some serious. I've, ga- I've gained a shot. What's everyone got there? I'm plus one now. So I'll be so I'm seven back. One under? Yeah. One under now? Yeah. yeah. So I'm seven. So you part? Nine back. Ten back. So you're still, you're still eight over. Yeah, I'm ten Jacob's back. Jacob's one over. So yeah. you... Oh. I'm all right. I'm thereabouts. Yeah, yeah. and Pete's still winning. I've, t- I've got a shot off him. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy. Kieran strikes me now. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm looking at the scorecards in the uh, in the clubhouse after. I'm looking through Kieran's score. And I'm like, that's a rough start. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to this par. I'm like... Ooh, you know what? Could be the. I reckon that I gave him a bit of hope, yeah, 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 and then yeah. I'm going to read to address it back now. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh I, yeah, I played at um, Market Harbour Golf Club just before their scramble tournament on Sunday, and he played nine because the course was closed to let everyone go and play in this tournament, and they like squeezed me out, which was great. And I played. I was five over through six holes, and I was like, oh my god, I'm a professional golfer. Like, I'm <laughs> so good. And then I was, I was. Seven off the tee oh, <laughs> on no. the next hole. Oh. <laughs> no oh. way! Ouch. Wow. I was like, whack! Straight like it's a a dog leg left and out of bounds left. And I was like, right, I'll just aim at this bunker on the right. Hooked it straight in the out of bounds. I was like, oh, okay, right. It's got to happen at some point, so I accepted it. I was right, just hit it at the bunker. Stop trying to do anything stupid. Just hit it straight. Then I hit it straight at the bunker. Hooked it left. Third one. I was like, right, I'm just get five iron out. <laughs> <laughs> were they were they picks balls or were they what sort of balls? Um, I think they were donated Wilsons, actually. Uh, right. you, yeah. you must still have the triads. Must still yeah, that's what yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah, I was say, yeah, everyone got given them at the end of the last year and yeah. no one wanted them. So I just took like 91 triads home. But they're lovely. They're lovely. That's good really like Good ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Yeah, and now there's you know, a field <laughs> full of them. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you want some triads, go to Market Harbour. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, mm. well, well done, Mick. That was um, a again bit of a tricked up hole, but you know what? It's <laughs> it's fine. Hold on. It's it fine. was it was played brilliantly. No, no, no that's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. I, yeah, didn't. You must have scold you through the back. I don't know. I, I kind of just. I think I lost focus a little bit there. I was a bit. I just didn't know. It's so. because you've got such a lead at the moment that you're just like I'm just complacent. Just gonna, yeah, yeah I'm complacent. Just, yeah. You're about to Thompson yeah, yeah. this entire match. No, you know what I've done. I do. It's weird. This is following the exact pattern. That I have when I play golf normally. Three holes in ones. I'm gonna be- <laughs> I absolutely get off to a flyer, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm like, I'm, I'm four under through four holes, and I'm like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm work hard to get it back to level. 
Yeah, oh. so I'm in my little comfort zone. <laughs> that's where you feel safe. Yeah, <laughs> I feel safe. I can't be too far under par. So that's where I'm at the moment. But you never know. Next week is a completely different week. Well, actually, next week, I think it's the Micah I podcast. We've got, yeah, yeah. we got a big podcast next week. Yep. So we've got a couple of weeks to dwell on what's just happened. Um, and then we'll go again. So guys, just want to say a big thank you uh, for listening. Guys, thank you for being on the podcast once more. Thank you to Murph for keeping my left leg warm uh, down here. You're very good, aren't you, Murph? Yeah, you did so That's good, Murph. Oh. Such a good baby. Boy, boy. Um, guys, if you haven't followed us on our YouTube yet, make sure you do. And also, if you haven't followed us on your favorite podcast provider, then why the hell not? Hmm. Uh, now is your opportunity to do so. Stay tuned. We've got some crackers coming. Stay tuned to the main channel and Swing Quest as well. We've got so many platforms now. You can find us wherever you want. Yep. Um, and that's about it. So, guys, thanks so much. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you. Yeah.